songs. Um, I tried to find two more depressing songs, but these are the best I came up with. The first one is Mr. Blue. Nice old uh, pretty song. And then uh, Roy Orbison crying. Um, let's take a look at Roy Orbison. Uh, might come back and do Mr. Blue another time, but I want to keep the video short. Um, it's in the key of C, which is kind of nice. No sharps, no flats. So, um... <laughs> on the fourth string. Now I'm just adding an octave above to make it a little fuller. Now we're going to go into chords. So 
but I saw you last night, you held my hand real tight. So we have, this is a C major seven, C six nine, going to just a C chord with a D added on the first string. Melody goes C, B, C. Now we go into the same melody, but with C augmented. So I'm sharpening the G here on the second string. Now you land on the D melody with the F chord underneath. Now our C first string is the melody, A, and then play the second string out of this F major for F, and then we land on a, so all this is is F minor with a D on the second string. So you know F minor is here. But I'm doing the hybrid thing where my pick is hitting the lowest string and my fingers are plucking the higher strings. So what I figured out is if I play this, again I'm avoiding the fifth string, and if I add the pinky on the D, that gives me my melody. So let's just take a look again from the top. Trying to build dynamics, starting out with single notes, coming into oxus. to chords. Here's that F minor with the D. Now we're going to go into a G13 with a 9 because I need this A on the 5th fifth, fifth fret 1st string. Now C, C6. Okay, what's happening here is again I'm avoiding the fifth of the chord, so I'm playing basically the fifth string in the first three, again the fifth string in the first three, and here my melody note is G, so it goes A, G, G, you couldn't tell that. He goes back to that G13 with the nine, up to this G7, and now we have to get all over C major. So what I did was, if you can think of something better, let me know. I just did C6-9, come back to the second string, G, A, play the open first string for E, and then land on a C major 7 with the G melody on the second, second string. Okay, so... Now I'm going to come down, I'm going to play an E minor 7 with the open 6th string. And the G is on the first fret, that's our melody. Jump up here, play the first three strings at the 12th fret, come down here for this stock uh, everyday E minor. So uh, the melody is, and we're gonna have E minors happening underneath. So we have, um, back to the C. G on the second string, going down to the F on the second string, as the top of an F major, E, F, G13, G7 with D on the second string, F major with the D on the second string first, and then come off so that you're now playing the C on the second string, first fret. Here's a C major, add nine, down to C. Now, my first finger is going to bar um, the, actually the uh, third and second strings to get the C augmented. Now I've got, this is F major over C. Okay, so F major would be here. If you put it over C, it would be that. But I need the D on the second string, so it, it amounts to this. Now we've got F minor with an E melody. Okay, so hopefully I haven't lost you too much yet. Uh, this is almost along the lines of the Christmas songs. Um, kind of basic chords, the only unusual one. C augmented. Kind of nice to have that.
that augmented once in a while. You know, there was an old song. Uh, uh, also, if you move it up to D. Something like that for Stormy Monday, but it starts on the kind of... All right, so let's back up one more time. Starting simple. Into chords. Here's the C augmented. My first finger is barring the second and third strings at the ninth fret. Here's an F6. So what that is, you have the F6 to get the D on the 10th fret first string, F major 7 to catch the C on the first string, um, F major to catch the A on the first string, and then play the F on the second string, and then we land on that F minor with the D on the second string. Um, then we go into the G13, 9, and now we have... C6 to C major, G13, 9, up to G7, back to G7 to catch the G on the first string. this was was it's basically it's an F minor but they want F minor with C in the bass and we need E in the melody so it's kind of a tough one but Okay, so I hope you like the tunes. Um, I come back and, like I said, uh, just walk you through how to play uh, Mr. Blue. It's a little more obscure, um, from 1960. And Crying, of course, is words of music by Roy Orbison and Joe Melson. I never heard of Joe Melson. Copyright on Crying is 1961. The Roy Orbison Music Company. And Acuff Rose Music. Of course, Roy Acuff was an old country, uh, country and western singer. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, if you find it useful, give me a like. Have a great day.